friends it's good to see you guys i am here megan is here jr is behind the scenes but um can you see me mm -hmm. beautiful um i'm lynn from lnj goods we are in medina new york we've got a brick and mortar shop here and you can find all of the things that we're using today down below in the description box all the links for everything I'll put there a little bit later. So um, we're doing our basement chronicles. This is week what four, Megan, mm, or three? Four. I think it's four. Oh, right? I guess you didn't put it in the title. I, I didn't. Think it's four. It's four. Um, so we are actually doing um, this Barrister book bookcase. It's not an antique one. It's it's a repro. And you know that this these come apart. They they come apart in sections. So we have already pre-paint primed and painted this area here. And then I'm going to go ahead and paint the top with fusion mineral paint in limestone. And we are going to pretty this thing up with a little flora parisiensis. Then I'm going to talk about hemp oil and how I'm going to clean up the inside of this and uh, we'll go from there. So who do we have with us today? Uh, hi Mary Jo, hi Lisa, hi Carol. That's who I see so far. So good to have you guys here. I'm gonna pop this stuff aside. Um, and Cheryl, hi Cheryl. Hey Cheryl, how is everybody today? So you might wanna turn down. If you can turn the camera down, that would be great. I have my fusion mineral paint here, and I'm using my fantastic Stallmeister brush. Hopefully, um, everybody can hear me just fine. But um, this was a a Barrister bookcase. Again, it's not a brand new one, but it's been sitting down here, and it was high time we did a little something to it. So what I did is um, we <clears throat> excuse me. We cleaned this really well with TSP, and then we gave it a, um, a primer coat of bin because guess what? This has a red mahogany stain on it, and it would have it did have some major bleed through. So we took care of that right off the bat. Happy Valentine's Day to everybody! A little bit late. I think we're done. I'll just have Megan work the camera if I need her to. I'll go stop on the floor up above. <laughs> Thanks for your help. Okay. All okay. right. So what's happening, Megan? Well, I just switched to the basement Wi-Fi because I realized that we weren't on it and you were lagging, and that was why. Okay. But now we're all good. Excellent. Everything is on there. I'm oh, so and good. now that I'm on there, here's tons of comments popping up. Wonderful. Hello, Jamie from the UK. So Everybody, they say your audio is good. Hello, Joan. Oh my gosh. So here's what we did for our audio. Our audio has a, is our nice big microphone hanging from the ceiling, which is awesome. Uh, yeah, for a while. Yeah. I'm saying later today, but you can take it. All right, so. Okay, Lisa says, I have to tell you, I did my Valentine's decoupage kit with my four-year-old twin grandsons and we had a ball. They did a meet, mixed media project and learned the word decoupage. How wonderful. Oh, that's so sweet. Hey, Joanne, hey, Carmen. She got her English pods in Canada, yay. Wonderful, oh my gosh. We've got another custom set of English Crocs that are gonna be coming. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm using, this is my favorite, Stallmeister One brush. Whoops. Don't want to paint that. And um, I've way over poured my paint. Way, way over poured. So what do you do when that happens? I'm going to pour this right back in my jar, but I really don't oh, need I that much. Oh, I poured it onto the piece. No, 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 no. No, way over poured. This is going to take a good couple of coats. Um, hopefully I can, it'll dry so that I can then, um, apply a transfer to this. Lisa said she's casting her cameo mold for her attempt <gasps> at the tiny heart. Oh, good, 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 good. Yeah, you guys, I'm, um, helping to administrate 
the IOD Tiny Art Project or, or group over on Facebook, and it's been such fun. I, I have a little something in mind if everybody, um, to just to get people's paint brushes moving, because here's the thing, as much as we love decoupage, and we do, and we love those washi tapes, and we do, um, I just want to encourage people to pick up a paintbrush and just try something with actual acrylic paint, chalk paint, whatever kind of paint you use. And um, I know Megan's like, some people can't even paint a heart. So, but I was like, you know what? It doesn't matter if it's perfect. If you look at the one that I painted, one side is different than the other. My so, problem is I just keep trying to even out both sides until it's no longer a tiny heart. It's and a it, giant it heart. It grows and grows and grows. I know. I hear you. I hear you. Hey, Jane. Is that our Jane from Georgia? No. Oh. Well, I don't know where this Jane is from. Oh, Jane this Brown. is Jane from... Hi, Jane Brown. This is Jane from Central New York. Okay, let me flip this I guess, over from Greece. And hopefully we will get this dry enough to be able to put another coat on it before I am ready to apply a transfer. This is not a perfect piece. Actually, not much in our basement is perfect. So, yes, she's from Brookfield, New York. Yes, yes, that's central New York, right? Megan, could you grab me a damp paper towel to wrap this in? Thank you. Yeah, paper towels over there. Or is that the only roll? This. Uh, here we go. Oh no, there's some up there. Yep. So, has anybody else uh, got a project that they're working on, cleaning up, doing some some cleanup stuff? All right. Let me get this moved up a little bit. It's really good to have all of you here. All right. Okay. Here we go. Um, the first thing I'm going to do before I start applying transfer on the glass is um, I'm going to use some hemp oil. We have our hemp oil. I need, need that. that cup right there. Do you have hemp oil? I have some. Okay. Yep. And hemp oil is one of my absolute favorite finishes to use on natural wood to help uh, moisturize it, to revive it, and to just freshen it up and hydrate that wood. It's really awesome. It's an I awesome product. I use it product. on my Birkenstocks. You do? Yeah. I, you know, I have heard of people using yeah. it on you their can leather, use it on your leather shoes. Sure. Yeah. Think about it. It'll I mean, look really dark for a minute, but then as it dries, it evens that out. That is a good tip. Yeah, I love it. It's also food safe, so I use it oh, on cutting I've got boards. salads. You um, do not. <laughs> subs. <laughs> just add a little Italian seasoning. And so basically, I just. <laughs> you're terrible. You are so bad. Just a little drizzle. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You sure do. Yeah. Let me tell you what, anytime I can avoid painting the inside of a cabinet, ugh. but I also didn't want to decoupage this because I had an idea for the transfers on the outside. Ooh, we don't need to fall down. Hi, Kathy. She's enjoying her lunch with us. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. I'm so glad the sound is better for you guys. So glad. Now I just need to figure out how to keep myself out of very awkward and uncomfortable positions on camera. Yes, <laughs> which is hard, yes. When you don't it have somebody is. looking, you're used to having someone else making sure of that for I you. I know, right? I'm totally going blindly on this. So I'm just rubbing this hemp oil in. I'll probably give it a couple of coats. I think it's so satisfying. It's so satisfying. Like you could use it on a butcher block, I would bet, right? Oh, yes, absolutely. We do it all the time. Butcher block, cutting boards. Um, yeah, it's food safe. Mm -hmm. I It's one of my favorite things to use over milk paint, too. I love it when the, in the really dry months, just a little, little bit. 
over my moisturizer. Megan, you cannot say that. <laughs> Somebody might take you seriously. I'm just kidding. I don't eat it and I don't put it on my face. I <laughs> bet you could. Terrible. Terrible. She uses it. Um, Carmen says, love the hemp oil on it. Inside natural wood works well on the inside drawer runs on sliding smoothly. That's Absolutely, it does, and it's also great for um, when you you know the your your older um, the older uh, drawers from older furniture or dressers um, mm -hmm. to do the sides. Really yeah. nice, really nice. So I'm going to pull this down now, and again, this is my top. And I pulled out one of my old favorites, which is Flora Parisiensis. Pari I hope I said that correctly. Mm -hmm. I This is such a pretty transfer. And I haven't used this in a while. No, I haven't. I haven't used it in a while. I used to, I've done a few custom pieces for people with this. And it's one of those that kind of looks good on just about any color. So today what I'm going to do is I'm going to break it apart. Guess what I didn't grab is my scissors. <laughs> Some right behind you, Megan. Um, Del and Delaine says her crackle stuff just shipped. Yes, it did. Yay! And do you have any tips for doing painting pine bookshelves? Um, sure. Pine bookshelves. Um, interior and exterior. Megan, look right hanging there on in Shirley's section. See it hanging? Oh. Um, pine bookshelves. Absolutely. Pine usually has knots. You want to make sure that you spray those with bin unless you're doing a dark color. If you're doing painting a dark color over pine, I wouldn't worry about it. But if you are changing it to a lighter color and you would see bleed through through that paint, those pine knots are, they are real buggers to um, cover with paint. They have to be sealed with a shellac based primer. Um, case in point, the one that lectures all the time on shellac based primers. And have you ever looked at my kitchen ceiling, Megan? <laughs> it's full. I, I was like, I want to paint the ceiling in the kitchen white. And we have like tongue and groove pine throughout the cottage. And it's just all, it's polka dotted. It's a polka dot kitchen ceiling. So guess what? One day I am going to have to, in the summer when I can open all the windows and have good ventilation, I'm just going to have to um, repaint that. Okay, Lisa, we store our molds in a little locker stack just stack up and Leah, our friend Leah Bigford Daniel, she wrote on the very edge of them and like an ultra fine Sharpie, the names of them all so we can easily pull the ones we need. Hey, that was can, super helpful. Any chance you, you just want to check to make sure that my angle is okay with, what are, with this? Where do you want? I, I'm going to be working on this. You're good. Okay, perfect. So I will be using this on the top of my piece, like the, the typography on this. We can see a perfect reflection of you in that very clean glass. Oh, here, I'll show you this so you can just make sure that this is how you'd like for it to be. Well, oh, that's, yeah, that's fine. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. I just wanted to make sure that we're not looking at, like, JR's workshop or something like nope. that. Have a time. <laughs> so you guys know that um, these transfers in the book form are, you know, there's eight sheets. With most of them, there's eight sheets. And... Flora Parisiensis. No, that is only four, okay? But the roses on this are so beautiful. They're kind of a peachy color, and I chose this because I just thought that they would be um, pretty with a limestone color paint, a nice warm um, floral. And I know one other thing I need is blue tape. Are you going to use the letters at all? I am. They're going to be on the top, as, um, I, as I just stated. I'll Sorry, I'm reading the <laughs> comments here. Um, and Delaine is wondering if the water-based primer works. A water-based primer for sealing wood knots? Absolutely so. not. No. What did you just ask me for? I'm sorry. Blue tape. Oh, oh it's right there. Blue tape. And Lisa said I'm going to need that crackle by the gallon. I just did another piece, a table riser with indigo floral, and it's the most incredible thing. Lisa, isn't it incredible? I'm telling you, I want to crackle everything. Megan and I keep saying, like, more crackle. We just need more. Something I never thought I'd say. 
Yeah, right? I know. And Lee's here. Hi, She's Lee. Hi, I'm Megan. I'm loving these warm weather Wednesdays, watching my favorites create while I get some fresh air. Oh my gosh, Good. are you outside, Lee? It is nice not to be freezing. It really cold. is. So here's what I'm going to do. Now, I have to try to lay this out on, on my piece here. And I've got to be kind of strategic about this because um, I know it's going to go like that. I have to be very strategic about this because I don't really want to divide my flowers here. I'd rather have the bulk of the florals up in here. If I have a little bit down here, I do, but I want the bulk of them up here mm -hmm. or down here. So I'm going to play around with that layout to just to see what makes the best sense for me. So I am putting this together. I'm just kind of using blue tape to kind of tape this together. They can't really see you. They can kind oh, of see you doing it in you, your Well, you can come over and like aim I, it down. Okay. That would be great. I just didn't know how long you were going to be there. I can't see. Okay. There we go. This one. And this one. Oh. Oh. What's that? Nothing. Just trying to do this. I had used some of this for other things. So I just wanted to use what was left over. I think that's going to go right there. Yeah, because the the florals fit, or the words fit, like, in here, in this space. Okay, do you want it back up or leave it down? Um, There's probably no way to get it so you can see. Just hang there for a second, Meg. Okay, now we can kind of switch it up and let's see. Let's lay this out and see how we want to do this. Do you want me to kind of leave it here now? Yeah, I think you can. Okay, so I'm just going to be using blue tape and just playing with this arrangement. just to see how I'm going to cut this apart. I know that this is this is an area where lots of folks kind of struggle as far as how to lay out your transfer, um, especially when you have these spaces and I don't want the transfer over this. So I'm going to be cutting, cutting that out of there. That means that I'm either going to raise, I'm going to cut this, and I'm probably going to either raise this up or I'm going to lower it down. I don't know yet what I'm going to do. you're only going to put it on the glass. Right? I'm only putting it on the glass. Yep. So right now I'm just getting a general thought about how I want this to lay out. And then I'll adjust from there. So I do, I like this. I like this position. I like this. I think what I'm going to do is right now I'm going to cut this out. Hey, Lourdes. And then we'll see what happens. Hey, Lourdes. How's it going over there in eastern New York State? Okay, so let's look some more. I'm going to take this out. I'm just going to help me. To, see, I begin to like kind of take pieces and parts away and then I'll build them back. So because I like the way this looks right here, what I'm going to do is separate this because I don't want it on my painted part. Remember that. All right, and there I am going to now. Of course, I could, I could certainly measure. <laughs> that would be insane. But that would require Megan going to find me. Well, I can do that. No, no. Actually, this is fine. Honestly, I hardly ever do anything with these other than just like I, I cut them according to the grid lines. Mm -hmm. That's just works best for me. All right. Yeah. 
So there's that one. I'm just going to kind of leave that there. And let's move up to this guy. And I can see that I need to cut this transfer off right at this line here. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to trim that away. Remember when we didn't have red lines? <gasps> oh my crazy. gosh, do I ever. Oh, Now, all this is what would have been here, but it would look kind of weird to bring this up here, right? Yes, would not it would good. really be weird. So think of like if you're looking and at a, say you're looking at a garden through your window, all right? Window that has um, mm -hmm. That's a great lines, right? Yeah, or has the munions and the whatever they're called. The minions. <laughs> <laughs> and and you're looking at that you are you're not seeing a part of that beautiful rose bush or that tree or whatever it's covered by the window pane the wood in the window pane all right right so we want to cut that out if i just sliced this and pulled it down it would make my rose look very distorted yes okay that makes a lot of sense good i'm so glad 48 in Michigan. Too. Oh, yes. It's, There's a winter storm coming there tomorrow. She's I about. know. It, we're all over the place as far as storms right now. Or weather. It's Do crazy. Do we have what, bad weather for me? Um, well, it's, it's supposed rainy, to be, right? It's like 50. Yeah, I think we've got some flooding coming or a lot of rain. And then ugh, that, the mud. And then it's going up to like 20. Okay. Or down to 20. So I just work section by section as I lay this out. And I want to tell you, I think for a barrister bookcase um, that was like reddish, ugly mm -hmm. kind of wood, I love this. Yeah. I really, I really love it. No, thank you. All right. And then here. I want to kind of, now I'm not going to, see this teeny little bit here? I don't need that. We're not going to see that up under there, so I'm just going to. Um, oh, gra Grandma's desperately trying to find us live. Oh, is she? Yes. I think, um, oh. I wonder if I can send her a link. Maybe. Tell her to go on YouTube I'm gonna see if I can just and search Ellen J. Good. And send a link to it. I bet you I can. That's. I'll be only do, I'll be only troubleshooting with her if I start trying to explain. Right. So I'm just I know, see if I, I can send her a link and if that'll okay. work for her. Right. Okay. And again, I'm just laying that in there. Oh, Lisa, do you live in the Adirondacks? Lisa Boogie, yes, she does. Hmm. I already have my trip booked for the summer. Do you really? Yes, I gotta put that on the calendar. We have ours trip or er, book for fall. For right? fall, yep, for October. Yeah, I'm so excited. I love it there. That is one of those vacations that we we take that I tr we truly get away and relax. Yeah, it's wonderful. It is wonderful. All right, now we're gonna decide what to do with this guy. I don't know. I'm almost thinking like I either. All right, so this is where I need you guys. Do I want that rose up here? to kind of cluster with this, or I'm thinking maybe I want it down here, that it needs to move down. Lisa, we go to Inlet. Mom, where do you go? Uh, Indy Lake. I think I like it down below you guys. Look, I Jean think I like is it. is below Utica, so is that near where Jonathan's College is? Oh, gosh. Is Hamilton College near you, Jane? I'm so bad with Geography? Is that what it's called? <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> and then we're going to add this down here and cut it. But now that I'm beginning to... Everyone's saying below. Bob, yeah. down, below. <laughs> Be, now that I'm... Do you hear Chance upstairs? I do. Shirley's up there. Um, and JR. Oh, my gosh. Um, we... Because now I'm getting into overlapping, I want to, I'm going to start applying some of these transfers. The glass is clean. It has been cleaned well with Windex. Oh, Lisa said you're right around the corner from her. Really? We're going to have to meet up. Oh, he Lisa. Goes, he goes to Hamilton College in Clinton, New York. 
Right now he's living on Nantucket for a study abroad, but um, study abroad domestic, but he goes to Hamilton. It's near Colgate. The, working on glass with transfers can be a little tricky. So I always keep that one, my one finger up here underneath to pull away where I need to. And very often I find that it, it, it adheres so quickly that I'm not even having to rub that much. I just get it started and work my way down, but very often um, I get to a point where I can pretty much just pull this away. See that? Lisa said you'll be in the real Adirondacks. My grandparents had property there when I was a kid. Well, we stay at a place called... Isn't this terrible? Megan, I think I'm losing my mind. Clinton's I'm... only... Or, uh, Clinton, where Hamilton is, is only 15 minutes from Jane. Jane! It's such a pretty part of the country. Oh, my goodness. I can't believe it. And we've been there. This will be our third... I can't think of the name. Uh, Camp Driftwood. Camp Driftwood. It's been in, it's been there for years and years and years and years, and we love it there. It's family operated for generations, and it's just a, a lovely little place. Bye, Delane. See you next time. Bye, Delane. Has anybody else done transfers on glass? Lisa knows where Camp Driftwood is. I smell a meetup in the future. Oh, yeah, girl. We'll do it. I finally get to meet up with a Bouvier. I was just going to say, if you're entertaining Bouviers, I might have to come through. I know, well, right? <laughs> <laughs> we have very simple means at our cottage, Miss Lisa. <laughs> well, from what I noticed, the Bouvier also appreciates simpler things. They do. And wild, different wildlife. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, we, we will have plenty of raccoons there. And, um, whoops. Vicki loves doing transfers on windows. Aren't they fun? And so then the next question usually is, um, Grandma's here. Yay. <laughs> she made it. Hi, Grandma. So then the next question very often we get when we're doing transfers on glasses, what do I use to seal them? You don't. No. They are going to stay on here unless you come up and you just start scratching at them. I never seal a transfer on glass. Never, never. Mary Jo says she put that very same transfer on a mirror. Did you really? I think it's just so pretty. I love the have way Have we ever done one on a mirror? Um, yes, I have. Okay, I'm going to pop over here and do this one. What? Grandma said it's beautiful. What a pretty piece. And you know, I, I tend not to like very dark interiors on bookcases and china cabinets and that sort of thing. But I like it here in this case. The, uh, the limestone frames out my transfer and then it also really pops against that dark dark background, doesn't it? Who a story on a mirror would be beautiful. Oh my gosh, yes. A story on a window is beautiful. In fact, I almost brought a story for this piece and I thought, no, I've been talking about... I really about like the way the wood and the limestone and the transfer all Yeah, it, it's the it's color combination pretty. is really good here. You guys, if you, um, I know that many of you probably got our text, but I'm going to, there's always a text down below in the, um, in the description box. There is a number where you can email or text us. You can email us and our website is there and all the links to everything that we use. But I, I love sending out a text. Last night our discussion was what kind of, do we buy fresh flowers um, for ourselves? And what is your favorite? Because didn't Trader Joe's smell amazing yesterday? I, did. I didn't buy any flowers, but yeah, it was really nice. So I'm going to show you something that happens when you're not paying attention. Oh, Lord in heaven. It's, oh, no. it's okay, because I'm going to show you, because it happens to everybody. I just kind of get going and forget what I'm doing. And sometimes that transfer will pop back and fold over on itself. And so I cannot use that. But I have some other parts and pieces that I can layer over that. 
Valentine's Day. He got pink tulips for Valentine's Day. Oh my Day. gosh. Oh, Oh, Lisa, Trader Joe's and Wegmans are just the best. the best. They make the mundane task that we all have to do of grocery shopping much more fun and exciting. They really do. Even though we only go once a month, I, I really... That's enough. Yeah. And I just sent Jonathan a nice big box of goodies. In Nantucket. Oh, you guys. So okay, so this is what happened. See this? It, I pulled it away, and the transfer came off of here, and then folded back over on itself. So this is no good. I can't use this. So I will. Um, I'll either take a little leaf or something where it, it, um, it kind of cut off here. I'll take a leaf. Mm -hmm. I will take. Um, I know there's. Seems like there was a. I mean, there's even like this guy. I could. Yep, I can see you, Graham. Well, I can't see your face, Graham. If that's what you mean, but I can see your. I, I can see your comments. Yes. <laughs> oh yeah, this is pretty. I think I'm liking it. Let me come back over here. Get this. It's there's really a science to layering these transfers when you're working with them and cutting them apart. But don't be afraid. My hey, my trees. There she is! Patrice, we have missed you! These are these have been gray days this February, yes, let me tell you. Indeed. So next week I'm going to California. I won't be we won't be live on the basement chronicles. I'm really trying to get a project done so that I can upload a video from the basement. Um, uh, there's a little, a little project that, um, I have been dying to, uh, have JR finish and it might be just the thing to film down here. Then it'd be one more thing that we can move upstairs. Oh yeah, Cheryl said she struggled with that same thing last week. She was using Midnight Garden and it was an old roll transfer. Oh, those are, yeah. I already forget what it's like to use those. So those of you that have gotten the crackle so far, I'd love to know, um, are you Camp Fine Line or Camp Classic? <laughs> or, or do you not choose, like Mom? No, I love both of them. This we, is really pretty. I think it's going to be very pretty. Lisa was sent a picture of a tray that she did that was absolutely oh, yeah, it was telling me about stunning. That. It was me. so pretty. Lisa, did you put what kind of finish did you put on that? Did you use your solvent based spray? What did you use? Yeah, Grandma, you'll love it. I needed a, a little wedge under this. Under <laughs> this thing is rolling. Oh. As I'm pressing on it, it's rolling. Do we have one? No, it's okay. I just put my foot on it. She put dark wax over it. Oh gosh, so oh, pretty. Patrice said she's dealing with breathing issues, but she's oh. hanging tough. Poor you know, Patrice. Patrice, I wondered how you were feeling. I texted you from my private number the other day to kind of check in on you, and I we hadn't heard from you in a few days, so I, I wondered if maybe you were just not feeling a hundred percent yet. Okay, look at that. Then, so this guy fits up into here, but we're gonna need to trim away. I'm not gonna take part of this off. So I have to position this to fit right there. Okay, and then down here, I'll go ahead and I'm going to score this and then cut that off. Then I can pull. 
I'll weigh my backing and lay that down. Well, Grandma always had to get rid of some things. She said she wishes she had a place for oh, it. Oh, I know. It's kind of a peachy color though, Mom. I don't know if that's like your color. But what a great little storage piece too. It really is cute. It's very cute. So I debated, um, am I going to, it would be pretty in, the, in a bathroom. With yes, those, it like, would. Baskets yep, it. yep, with baskets. Oh my gosh, like our, our baskets from upstairs that are in our bathroom mm -hmm. would be so cute in here. It's okay, Patrice, that you need to be doing nothing. Let your body do what it needs to do. That goes for you too, Grandma. Yeah. No fun being sick. No, it's not. Oh, my goodness sakes, you guys. This is so pretty. I think while I'm waiting, while I'm, I'm going to throw another coat on here. Okay. While, um, so that it can get a chance to dry. Do you want me to tilt that down for you? You can. I'll at least get a coat on the top. When I'm using Fusion, I... I get the best results by applying thinner coats. You don't need a lot. That this one pint, this one pint will cover. It would literally do like two dressers. Mm -hmm. um, it Multiple would do, coats. It would do. Yeah, it's crazy. Like the the coverage that it has. Carmen said, just love that cabinet. It's beautiful. Linen jar sure do find real treasures. Can't get over all the beautiful picture frames you also find in oh, the antique hall. Less oh, up here in Canada. Oh my gosh, Carmen. The picture frames. Yeah, you know, Wendy said the same. It's really hard to find things for their and for a reasonable price in Canada. I bet. I bet. Yeah. I've heard that. Yes, the Kringle will make you feel better, Grandma. Oh. The Kringle sounds bad. And there we go. Let's get it at least on there to start drying. This might need. No, I think I think this is good. Ooh, I felt like I was what about like the me. lip? You don't, do you need it? Like no, you know what? I'll deal with that later. I'll deal with that a little bit later. Okay. You you ready for the camera to go back up? Sure. I just want that to dry a bit starting to and then we'll start to lay out these other pieces wish there was a more smooth way to do this but there just isn't there just isn't okay let me gather up my parts and pieces here jr jr's up there he's like i'm <laughs> I'm going to be very quiet. <laughs> I'm going to finish painting the inside of that giant workbench island that we did. Um, that is limestone, Grandma. This is called limestone. All right. Carol said she has two pieces in the same style as the French provincial piece behind you. Oh, I'd like to see what you do with it. Well, I think um, our Miss Shirley, I got to I got to come up with some kind of vision for that um, we brought those over from storage. Yes, believe it or not, we have other storage. <laughs> Patrice said I'm already cringled. LOL called wrinkles. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the yeah, Patrice. Okay, so I want that and I have that little. So I think what I'm gonna do is, because I, I have the top of the top of this, right, and I don't want it up here, mm -hmm. so I want it down here, but I also want to um, make sure that it's all down below, so I'm going to cut out these letters. 
and then put the bottom here. So I want to get it nice and low. There we go. And these are pretty. You can overlap these. But I really just truly had like bits and pieces. This wasn't a full um, Flora Parisiensis transfer, is what I want to say. It's, um, I had used parts of this for other things. So I just wanted to use it up. It's also a little challenging to work on glass in a vertical position, but I want to tell you, if you're working on glass and lay it down um, flat, you really do have to be careful yes. about how you're pressing. Yes. Especially if it's an old window yes. or something like that, because you could pop that uh, right out. Or smash it. Smash that glass, yeah. Smash it like a windshield, Grandma. Yep. <laughs> but maybe less easy to replace because your windshield is very easy to replace it seems. Yeah, it is. So cute. Yes. So it's cute. cute. It's darling. Just darling. I left these knobs on here. Um, I'm not gonna take 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 them out and put a, a rose knob or anything like that. I think. Although that would be cute. It would be, but you'd have to find a really tiny one. Sometimes I don't like things too like matchy themey either. You know. Yeah, but I was just picturing like a crystal, tiny little rosebud. Yeah, a little crystal knob. Yeah, we might have some. I don't know. Those don't look bad though. No, I don't think they do either. Love the way that that stands out. Yeah, it's really pretty. The colors are just perfect together. I just love it. Okay, where did my other? Grandma said that won't be a lot around long. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be posting this on our website, and it will be available for purchase. Okay, where did my little my little tops go? Hmm. See, this is what happens when you're me. Oh, right there. Right, y'all. Let's connect these little bits. I like the little delicate ones. They look pretty. I know, and I must have used them for something, and I don't even know what I used them for. Patrice says, we don't have that many old items here. We have building of homes like crazy. Europeans say we have instant ruins. You know what? That's true. And you know what struck me the other day? Well, yesterday when we were, I stopped at Joanne's, like um, here, if you're familiar with the Niagara Falls Boulevard area here in, in the Buffalo, in Buffalo, New York. Um, I was so shocked to see like that one entire like it was just demolished, like an like building after building just demolished, so that a new building could be built. Mm -hmm. It's it just blows my mind. Lisa said her daughter Megan would say, "Don't go tchotchke, mom." I think she's talking about the knob. Yep, yeah, I agree. Yep, I agree with you. Jane also has a daughter named Megan. Let me guess, they're in their early forties or late thirties. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Um, I, I named, I, Megan's name uh, came to me from, I had an English professor, and his name was Ralph Sturm, and he was in at Edinburgh, and he and his wife, he was, they were an older, a little, probably in their 40s, and um, they had been trying to have a baby for quite some time, and he was so happy and proud to announce that um, she was pregnant and 
and we all asked, like, well, what will you name the baby if it's a boy or a girl? And he, they ended up naming her Megan. And I just thought that was the most beautiful name. And so did millions of other people during the <laughs> 80s. Right? It's a very 80s name. Yes. <laughs> it really is. Although I never had a friend named Megan or went to school. Did with you? Anybody there was never a Megan else? Dickinson. Yeah. Sorry, I don't know if I'm Am I allowed to say that? Yeah, why not? Without saying anything about her except that it's her name, but yes, and hers was spelled M E G H A N like mine. Mm -hmm. Okie dokie, guys. Look at this. I think I like what's happening. Yeah, it's beautiful. Cheryl said she stores her molds in small plastic totes she gets at Costco. Are they like the shoebox molds? Or I mean <laughs> totes, because I know those would probably be a perfect fit. Oh, that's a good idea. I store my stamps in uh, the 12 by 12 scrapbook boxes, mm -hmm. the plastic scrapbook boxes. Box. <laughs> you have James Dodgers 42. Yeah, isn't that something? Lisa said it was her favorite name from when she was a child and she's 60. We always laugh about like, like my dad's name was Nelson. And we just, I always say, who's looking at a brand newborn baby? And let's call him Nelson. Oh, what a or sweet Or I say baby. it to grandma too about Gary. <laughs> Yeah, isn't that funny how yeah. we, but I'm sure those names were popular at the time. <laughs> uh, Shannon, yes, that is fusion paint in limestone. <laughs> Almost there. This is a tricky little spot right here to work on. I'm, I feel like I'm on my head. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not saying there's anything wrong with the name Gary. Just when you're looking at, because Patrice's husband's name is Gary. There's nothing wrong with it. He's my uncle. It's just, or Nelson either. And I love, that's my poppy's name. So I love it. But it's just funny to think of looking at a little bitty baby. A little tiny like, baby. of course, as a grown man, it's perfectly, it's a perfectly normal fine name, but looking at a little baby named Gary is funny to me. <laughs> or <Remember>, Nelson. <laughs> if you look at a little boy and say, like, I'm going to name him River. And when he's 80 years old. Well, he's somewhere in between. Yeah, is it's, it's so funny. Like River me, is, could be a good one. I think that sounds solid enough. It does. You're right. Okay. Oh, Jane's daughter, Megan, has an Antoinette. That's beautiful. She oh, had babies that is... late in life. She has a three and four year old. Mama Mia, she must be tired. I love, like, we have, um, I love all of my grandchildren's names. I really do. Lisa said I was supposed to spell the name same as me, like, my, her daughter was supposed to be M-E-G-H-A-N, but I was strung out on Demerol, and my husband did the birth information. <laughs> <laughs> That'll do it. I always said, um, and I might know my mother will deny this, but. I know you're joking, Patrice. When, um. The grandma's just said, I gave you a beautiful name, Lynn Teresia. Teresia, yes. And I always accused her of, like, you spelled my middle name wrong. Nobody has the spelling of that name. Like, T-H-E-R-E-S-I-A. Yeah. Okay. I think... And not everybody has L-Y-N-N-E either. No, that's true. That is true. Didn't they, Mom... Didn't they, um, all your crazy aunts, well, not crazy, but all of your aunts that, and they had <laughs> they the, crazy they, names, crazy names crazy. but when I, when you named me that they were like, Lynn, whoever heard of such a thing, what do you think? She's going to be a movie star? <laughs> <laughs> I just think that it's so funny. I know. Said Aunt Frida Ricka Francis. <laughs> yes. <laughs> the movie star. Okay, now let's... Lisa loves your middle name. It is pretty. Let's, um, Megan, I'm going to have you tilt the camera up so that I can... Oh, it. and Jane has a Kate. Yes, my sister's name is Kate. Oh, yeah. She's Katie. We call her Kate or Katie. Oh, she said Teresa.
Teresia was after your great aunt, so we're going to have to check no. that out. No, Aunt Teresa's name was not spelled S-I-A. I've checked. <laughs> oh, my god! It was not. It's getting ugly. T-H-E-R-E-S-A was Aunt Teresa. Yes. Somebody was stuck an extra I in there. Jane was named after Jane Mansfield. Va 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 boom. Whoa! Okay, see this little gap she here? said Aunt Della. Oh, yeah, there was an Aunt Della. No, but I think she's saying you were named after Aunt Della. No. No, I wasn't. Patrice. I had Aunt yes. Teresa. First wave was Megan, Agnes can you Bell. tip this up? Yes. Agnes Bell. It's kind of pretty. That is beautiful, actually. Pretty name. All right. I'm going to... How far do you want this up? Like, well, there you go. That's good. Isn't that so pretty? Yeah, why did you leave that one? Uh, oh, I kind of forgot about that. I forgot about it. Sorry for the shaking, everyone. It's not a simple task to move that camera. What a is. difference with that. Mom Graham said, I love your name. I love her name too. I love Graham. it Everybody too. Does. I, I do. love the name Gretchen Lisa too. That is beautiful. I love those old names. Oh my god. Isn't that beautiful? That's very pretty, you guys. Yeah. What a difference. Yeah. What a difference. <laughs> Lisa said, and here you are, a YouTube star. I know. <laughs> well, I don't know about I'm not a star, that's for sure. But Grandma, I love your name. Ro oh, my mother's got the prettiest name. And it's different. Her name is Rosalia. See, that's another one. You don't hear that. No, no. Ever you hear Rose, but everybody my called her name. Rose, Rosie, um, except my dad, Rosalia. Yep, <laughs> I have her as Rosalia in my phone. I remember asking my dad about, like, why do you always call her Rosalia? And he's like, What do you want me to call her, Rosie? <laughs> and then when he said it, it's like, Uh uh, no, I can't even imagine. I can't even imagine him calling her Rosie. Yeah. And my middle name is Rose for my grandma. There's a lot of them. A lot of her granddaughters have Rose as a middle name. Yeah. It's just such a perfect middle name. I could have been Teresia Rose. You could have. You could have been a lot of different things. It's you true. could have been Gary. It's true. <laughs> Patrice said you're a star to us. That's right. Oh, Patrice, you know. This is, um, I, I can tell you that there isn't much of a day goes by um, since we've been doing this whole thing here that I don't think about how fortunate we are, Megan. Like, we have met, like, maybe not in person, but certainly we have met a lot of people in person. We have, we have met the most wonderful people. Yeah. The most wonderful people that have truly become our friends. And you'll be meeting people in person coming up oh soon. Oh my gosh, yes, California next week. We will be there. I will be there. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> wow. That's tough. That tough. Wow, Bethany, wow. Yeah. Jane said my mother's name was Bertha. I couldn't get my girls to use it for their girls. <laughs> All right, so here's the other part of Flora Parisiensis, right? I just feel like... The namesake. It would have just disappeared in here, right? Yes. It would have disappeared, I think. So, but I thought it would look really pretty up on top. I don't know that I want to, because this is so fresh. I think yeah. I'm going to wait and do this um, another time with you guys. Because I will need to measure this to center it. But I think it gives just a little bit of fun detail to the top. Mm -hmm. And I love mixing florals with typography. That is like one of my favorite, favorite looks. But there you go. I may scout around and see if I have a few other leftover little pieces of this upstairs. But like right now I'm thinking it needs... Um, I don't know if it needs like a leaf there or something, but it's, it's, I might yeah. have a bit of this, um, 
oh, up in my in my in my basket of stuff. Yeah. But I really, 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 really love what this, how this turned this Barrister bookcase from ugly and brown into something really pretty and feminine and just a beautiful floral. Yes. Love it. Wonderful. Okay. So um, we are going to uh, say goodbye. We'll be upstairs um, on Friday mm -hmm. and maybe work a little bit more on that big giant workbench that we're transforming into an old world look. Or I don't know what I've got up my sleeve. I just don't know. She won't decide until like 10 minutes before. That's exactly right. <laughs> so it'll be a fun surprise and adventure for all Aww. of us. You guys, thank you so much for, for hanging out here. Remember, everything is in the description box below or will be when I when this uploads. Um, I'll go ahead and put the links to everything that I use. The hemp oil, um, the color of paint, um, our brush. The, the transfer, you'll, I'll leave it all there, and you can always text us down below will be the number to text us, and you can get notified when we're going live next. So, you guys, have a wonderful Wednesday. Stay Bye. safe. Bye.